I'm Barbara and I look after ESG and uh, entrepreneurship for uh, the South African breweries. Awesome. It's so lovely to have you today, Barbara. How are you doing? I am great. It's Friday and you? <laughs> I'm awesome as well. It's the weekend. <laughs> And the ESG Awards are coming up soon. Can you tell us a little bit more about the ESG Awards, what they entail, um, what SAB aims to achieve? Um, can you just enlighten us a bit more about them? Yeah, sure. So we are super excited about it. Um, so what happened is that we are partnering with uh, ESG Africa events. Um, this is a very interesting uh, bunch of people of like people that are uh, academic, you know, really technical expert around the field of ESG. And they've done their first conference last year and it was really interesting. So we thought, you know, let's go for it this year as well. And as we were, you know, speaking with them around the conference, we were like, wait a second, you know, there might be a great opportunity here to, before we, we speak at the conference, let's see if we can't have a platform where, you know, the best of the best are being recognized, right? Mm -hmm. And we thought that using, you know, the SAB brand, we, we could really have a pool, you know, around that. Uh, and that's what's happening, actually. So, so you know, um, it's a Beyond Awards. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are closing entries next week, uh, Wednesday on the 13th. Yeah. And really, it's about driving momentum around the field of sustainability in the continent, right? Yeah. So it's about, you know, SAB is doing as much as we can right now. You know, but we can't solve everything, and that's why it's beyond. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. you no, know, for us to solve some of the most pressing social, economic, and environmental issues, we need to join forces. Mm. You know, as private sector, as public sector, everyone together and solve those systemic issues. And that's what it's about. Um. So that's just in a nutshell how it came about. That's quite exciting. And um, how important is it for, for African companies to adopt sustainable practices? So when when I ask that question, I like to remember what what does sustainability mean? It means lasting, you know, it means longevity. Yes. Uh, so as a business that wants to last, if you're not actually adopting sustainability practices, it's completely it's counter counterintuitive. Yeah. right yeah. so today i don't think it's important i think it's imperative i think you cannot not adopt sustainable practices and want to last as a business yeah you cannot not care about the people that's around or fuel your business you cannot not care about the environment that you're affecting with your business mm. so so i think it's it's not it can't be an afterthought anymore it can't be a tick box it needs to be core of who you are as a business 100%. And um, are the entries open to also small, medium enterprises, big businesses? Um, what is the criteria and the category yeah, so, that you're looking for? I was going to go there, yeah. I think the easiest way to explain this is actually uh, by telling you about the categories. So four categories, so it's not too complex. Uh, the first com category is about the Sustainable Development Goal, right? The SDG from the United Nations. Yeah. Um, so we want to look for SDG champion uh, that is open for all kind of organization. But the idea is we want to see a very comprehensive uh, strategy around your sustainability practices uh, yeah. that touch on different goals, like your no poverty, you know, um, the health and wellness, like all kind of goals. But then yeah. we want to see impact. So it's not about only, you know, ticking box. We want to see depth in each of those of those um of those goals. Mm -hmm. uh, the second category is uh, the best ESG project. And that one I think is particularly uh, suited uh, for smaller company, startup, NGOs that are really doing amazing projects, okay. right? Um, to give you an example of what we're looking for there, we, we work with a company, um, to what uh, that transform cow manure into energy, you know, and it's actually ground, you know, it's really great. Groundbreaking, uh -huh. and that's the kind of innovation that you want to see through that category. Uh, yes. Things that you know you want the public to know about, so that we, you know, they can be scaled, they can grow, and they can make a bigger impact. Yeah. And um, then the third category is the best ESG report. So best ESG report, we don't want it to be a, a tick box. Uh, we want we want to reward companies that are brave. Right. We want companies that are willing to say, you know what, we're not doing great on that, but we're working on it. You know, not only the positive PR news, you know, we want really depth in the report. And as yeah. I said, courage uh, in the report. Um, and lastly, but not least, 
individual because you know um big movement always uh, have a leader and you know have influencers and we want to reward the individual contribution to advancing sustainability in africa uh, so this one is specifically tailored for individual uh, nominations um so that's the fourth one so i hope i answered your, your question Definitely. I like that the spec is quite broad and that it also involves individuals as well, because there are some people doing amazing things as individuals. Um, moving on to my next question, Barbara. Um, so why was it fitting for SAB to be involved in these awards? I think it's all about your role as a leader. You know, um, we really proud ourselves, you know, to to be a, a corporate citizen, right? And corporate citizen comes with rights and duties. Yeah. And we feel it's our duty to be, you know, um, leading the change, you know? And we can do so much, as I said, you know, from, from one business point of view, but what we can do is we definitely have an influence, you know, because because people look up to us. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's where we were like, what can we do? Well, we can create a platform. You know, we've, we are a great marketer, we've, we're great in communication, you know, so why don't we use that to elevate and give visibility to the best, mm. you know, so that they get the reward. And also to, it creates also a carrot, you know, so those that are not doing well currently and are not really investing in sustainability, yeah. you know, seeing how much visibility those that are doing the right thing get, it can encourage other comp companies to do better. Um, <laughs> so that's really the, the mindset around it. Wow, wow. That's actually truly amazing. And when exactly are the awards? Um, we look forward to that. Where uh, would they be like streamed live or is there um a hashtag that you follow just to keep Good track? Idea. <laughs> Great ideas. Um so for now uh, I'm definitely gonna take I'm taking notes. I'm like, yeah, live stream is a good idea, eh? Um yeah, so we hadn't thought of that actually um so definitely taking that on board so if we're live stream you can take the credits for that yeah um but <laughs> we are looking at having the ceremony on the 3rd of october okay. um and yeah and uh, it's going to be a, a proper like event um of course we are going to be true to the narrative so it's not going to be something uh, environmentally unfriendly uh, so a lot of very very exciting stuff are going to happen you mm. will get your invites don't worry okay. <laughs> we will so if you, if you come to you're based in Joburg, right? Yes, I am in Joburg. Okay, so prep that outfit for the day. Oh, yeah. uh, I will make sure that you get <laughs> invites uh, so that you can come and be part of the live streaming. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going to happen. And uh, we'll, so you'll have your, your five finalists okay. for each category that will be invited. And then the winners will be announced on the day. Um, yeah. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, Barbara. Um, we look forward to the awards. And can you just repeat when the, the applications close? 13th of September, so next week, Wednesday, I believe. Okay. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Please have a great weekend. It was lovely talking to you. See you at the awards. Thank you.